Hello YouTube, this is Jericho Majors coming back to do a long-awaited review of the Wand Company 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver Universal Remote Control. Um, I've been talking about this for a while, I've been hearing about it for a while, and I'm sure all of, all of you have too. So let me start off, um, as I always do, showing the box. It's in this kind of white, very nice, very simple box. It's got that decal on top that Wand Company uses a lot. This is the Gallifrey text. On the side it says, 10th Doctor Universal, or Sonic Screwdriver Universal Remote Control, and over here it says, 2005 2010. Little picture of David Tennant. And now that kind of decal and style is what uh, the BBC has been using for the newest line of 50th anniversary Sonic Screwdrivers and kind of toys. It, it's repeated back here. Some information. Fully, you can pause that if you want to read it. But it basically just talks about the On the side it has the old Doctor logo that they've been using since the 50th anniversary. When you open it up, it opens just kind of like a regular box. And then on the inside, it's really cool. They have, on either side of the flaps, they have the end. Which I thought was kind of cool. So you guys open it up. And in this very nice, seemingly black box, I actually noticed today under the right light, it's actually a very, very dark, dark blue. It's kind of a matte texture on all of it, and then a kind of reflective, glossy texture on the screwdriver um, decal. And over here, it's got some rings kind of indicating that it's activated. Um, there, it's got a little imprinted Wand Company logo on the back, uh, a hinge with a metal rod to it, and now when you open it up, that you see the screwdriver and its contents. Now I'm gonna set the screwdriver to the side to save everything about that for later. Uh, it comes with a USB charger. Don't know exactly what kind this is, but you can kind of infer that's like the modern micro USB charger. Regular USB, no wall charger, just USB. So if you have a wall charger with a USB plug-in, then that'll work. A uh, very very thin wire. It doesn't feel like it's going to break, but it, it is very, very thin, very light. And something I've heard about before that I really liked about this was the um, spongy, kind of very Nerf texture, is how I describe it. It's a very Nerf-y, um, spongy texture. Now on the bottom, you can take it out, like that, and it comes with the base, the uh, display stand. It's in a Gallifreyan text style. Uh, kind of a washed um, vintage metal look. It's very, very nice, very heavy, and it has this little grip on the bottom, kind of like a coaster. Now, when you use the stand, um, it, it's this uh, metal. Uh, on one of the circles of the Gallifreyan text, there is a magnet that attaches to a piece of metal in the bottom of the sock. And um, usually, I usually set it down and try to find it, and it'll just jump to it, and it just stands up straight like that. Uh, if you're holding it in your hands, it'll usually just um, wobble a little bit, and you usually want to set it on like a counter or something, and it'll stand up straight. And um, it, it won't it won't falter unless there's like an earthquake or something. I'll try to show you just how it kind of looks. So set it up here. And then it'll just stand up straight like that. Doesn't wobble. It's pretty sturdy, pretty nice, um, and really great addition to the rest of it. Um, and you can just kind of keep that on your uh, shelf for whenever you would want to put it up there. Pull the other part out, and you'll get the manual, which you pull out. I, it's a Blu-ray, X-ray the screwdriver itself with awesome information. I'll let you pause and read each one of those if you want to. Uh, basically all of this like chemical makeup information kind of stuff uh, of the screwdriver itself and it's just it's very very detailed and it shows everything all of the internals of it blah 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 blah. blah. But on the other side you have the actual manual which has information Telling you how to operate it, uh, right there, with the different presses. You can pause that and look at it if you wish. Um, this is what's cool, actually. 
um, on the different modes of the uh, the sounds, you can with gestures have different sounds from the show, ranging from the Red Sonic, Broken Sonic, Alternative Sonic, Special B Sonic, whatever that is. Uh, standard Buzz, uh, Mark One Sonic, Minefield Scanning, Detonation, Sonic Bloop, and General Scanning. So, that's pretty, bloop, that's pretty cool. So, anyway, to the screwdriver itself. Here it is. Give you a really good look at it. I'll give you a good look at it all the way through. But it's um, I expected it to be small. It's actually smaller than I even expected. Uh, I've seen pictures of people holding it, and I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty small. And then I would see some uh, references like to a toothpick of how big it is, and I was like, oh, okay, it's pretty small. But then even after I took it out of the box, I was like, wow, that's pretty small. I'll show you what it looks like in my hand. It's, it's kind of average. I'll actually give you a reference here if you have the toys at home. Uh, this is the 10th Doctor Sonic compared to the classic Sonic toy. See that in terms of thickness? The overall thickness is about that part and that part. Uh, now what's interesting is I have the um, Sonic Screwdriver flashlight and this is the closest in terms of uh, diameter and length which is kind of interesting because if these are two different screwdrivers and they're approximately the same length except for about a couple centimeters which I thought was really cool but yeah, just to give you a size reference, that's how big it is um, the black end part which on the actual prop is made of Delrin this is made of polypropylene which is what they use in cold steel sparring weapons you can look that up on the internet it's a, weapon, it's a company called Cold Steel and they have sparring weapons like um, training weapons uh, that are made of polypropylene, which is a very durable black plastic. That comes off to show you the charging port. That's where you charge it. Go up, aluminum right here. Now this is ABS uh, injection molded plastic, and the reason they used this instead of aluminum was uh, both to be cost effective and to get actual accuracy on the crackle texture itself, because as I said in a previous video, if you haven't heard, they 3D scanned David Tennant's personal Sonic screwdriver from the show and got the texture down. I'll try to show you that as best as I can. I don't want it to be blurry. Um, Alright, there's a good view of it. It's a very, very beautiful texture. I might darken it a little bit myself, but um, it's. I've seen reviews of it and it looks a lot more plasticky than it looks in person. Um, I know this looks very plasticky, and I said it's made of ABS plastic, but it actually in person feels a lot better than I expected. Um, it's got kind of a glossy um, quality. And on the side you have the blue strip, which is a little toyish looking, but it's not too bad um, unless you really look at it. Um, it's nice, it's, it's a little see-through, so sometimes it'll light up if you power it on uh, going up on a slider. The button itself, as you'll see, is see-through. It's a kind of bulb itself. Um, slides up to about there. Aluminum, all of this is aluminum. And nev right there. You can see straight through it, basically. Not really on camera, but you can in person. I'm gonna just kind of talk about some of the things I like, some things I don't like. Starting off with the things I don't like, just to kind of get that out of the way and explain why I don't like them. This black part, I'm um, talking to Richard B, Richard Blakesley on the uh, RPF. Uh, he said, this was made to spin like this, because whenever you turn the volume up and down, it's easy to hold in your palm like this and spin. And it really is, it's very, very helpful when doing that, but any other time, whenever I'm just playing with it, it feels really loose. Um, and I wish that it kind of had like a snap feature, like it could just snap at some point and just stay there. Um, but other than that, it's fine. And at the black back of it, I really wish that this little dot in the middle wasn't there. I wish it was just flat because that's one of my favorite things about seeing the, the proper because it's, that it's just a flat uh, without any, you know, it looks like it was just put in a mold, um, which is fine. You know, it's really fine. It's it's not like a 
drawback or anything. It's just a little thing that I wish was different. Um, going up on the slider. Now, this is one of the things I said um, earlier about me being having a personal problem. Um, this little piece right here, the uh, slider, is actually, I'll try to show you, is, hold on. Okay. It's very loose. See right there, kind of like a tooth. Um, and pushing it up even more so. I can hold this, and this will kind of be. So it's a little loose in construction, um, and I don't expect everyone to be like that, but it's a little thing of mine. And it doesn't affect me too much. I've been playing with it all day, and I really don't mind it. Um, the one main thing I have a problem with that I actually have a problem with, like I've said other things, I don't care too much about. This is the only one, and if you've seen any of my other reviews, you would know why. Right here, where the yellow wire is, you can't see that too well. I'll try to... Okay, see right there, at the top, it is two pieces put together, and there's a line on each side. Um, I really don't know why they couldn't have had just a solid channel, a solid piece um, of acrylic. I don't know why they couldn't have done that. Um, I don't think it would have affected the production in any way. But um, it is great to finally see that yellow wire like I've been wanting. And actually on camera here, that looks um, frosted, kind of like the prop is, but it's actually not. It's clear all the way through. And there's a big fat line right here in the inside channel. Uh, it's very noticeable if you look at it. But yeah, overall, that part, that part of the, it doesn't, you know, it's not, I'm not going to let it bother me. Going up, I love, you know, the little head and the little teeth. I've heard of people complaining that their teeth don't fit together well. Mine do very well. Fit together very well. Little rod in the middle. Now, this is interesting. If you look up here, the arches kind of go into this piece. Um, I haven't seen that before. I guess it's supposed to be like that. Um, I wish that the inside of the blue, the um, LED was straight. I wish that they just made it straight. Uh, mine's kind of crooked. So now I'm going to show you these sounds. All right. <clears throat> now I'm in an effects mode right now. There's four different modes. There's control mode, quiet control mode, effects mode, and practice mode. And it goes in that order. Now effects mode, uh, when down, is actually very very quiet. I'll see if you can hear this. And if you can, and you, but basically. Okay, that's something, uh, it might just be in mind because this is loose, it kind of is hard to push up. It does get louder as you push it up, and goes quiet as you can. Something I love about this, this light is whenever it goes off, when you stop, it kind of fades out like this. That's really cool, I thought that was it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's got the standard sound effect, there is about a half second delay, on the, on the sound itself, kind of like on the uh, 11th Doctor's toy. So I'll show you in terms of how much of delay there is. So the light will come on immediately, but there'll be a half second before the sound goes off. In effects mode, whenever you press twice and hold on a second, it goes into a gesture-based um, effects mode. So, Alright, this is one of the mind scanning effects from the 70s. It's another one. Different gestures, warrant, warrant different sounds, and that's honestly like probably one of my favorite features of this entire thing is just being able to, you know. Act like you're. That's so much fun. Um, now there's also a practice mode, which tells you right, left, pull, up, pull, push, down, and then, like I said earlier, clockwise. Anti-clockwise, uh, and then tap on all four sides. Like tap on the left, tap on the right, tap, tap on the bottom. 
Um, those are all the different. That's practice mode, and it basically it has this little voice. If you can hear that, push pull. Uh, it's a little Britishy woman voice. So control mode, memory bank A. It has three different memory banks, A, B, and C. There's a control mode and a quiet control mode. Now in control mode, it's just the regular sound of the sound screwdriver. <laughs> I just turned on my computer's uh, music. Uh, the quiet control mode. There's a small click. That's my my preferred control mode. I don't like it all the time. If it's gonna buzz, I'll put it in effects mode. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And whenever you want to program it, basically what you do is you three times hold on the third, and you'll go push. And then you push it one more time. So um, it works pretty well. Uh, very easy to use. Um, simple. I kind of like that. Uh, it's 13 different gestures, so 13 different um, controls, so you can turn volume up, down, change channel, left, right, all that stuff. Now, overall, as a remote, this works pretty well. Um, it, it is kind of unresponsive sometimes. Like, you'll do something and have to do it a couple more times, or you don't do it right, or it'll think you do something else. That's actually the problem I've had with going left or right. It'll say tap on the left, tap on the right. It's very responsive. I'll do down, and it'll say tap on the bottom for some reason. Uh, it's just very, very... Move. Sensitive. Not too bad of a problem. I mean, if it works, it works, and it does. Um, one of the best things about it is the TV Be Gone feature, which is this, the universal on off for any TVs, and actually, I found out projectors apparently. Um, and printers. Today in my class, there are four uh, TVs two in front, and two in back, and then there's a projector above me, and then a camera that's for a class that connects to another class in another state. And today, I turned on TV. Or, I turned on TVs behind me by doing this. And turned on both TVs and the projector. And the camera, which showed the rest of the class to the whole class. And I was like, ooh! And I turned it off real quick. It was really cool because it just kind of went on the fritz. And it felt like something. You know, it felt like I was using a screwdriver for the first time. It was a cool little thing. It works. Um, and actually, today, uh, at Best Buy, this is two days after I started making the review. I was walking around and they had a huge wall of TVs, and I, was, I just held it in front and like it turned off like four different TVs, but like different segmented. And then I held it again and it turned off like three more and turned on two. Yes. And then it was turning off TVs like everywhere, and it was turning on and off um, like jam boxes and stuff that were um, IR coded, and it was really cool because the people who worked there were just like, what's going on? Now overall, I give this a nine out of ten just because of the little things like the clear, if it was more accurate, if it had like an acrylic rod instead of plastic and it didn't have that a dot on the back, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Those are the only two things keeping it from being that for me. Because really the sound effects are perfect and the size is perfect, the weight is perfect, it's very light, um, but it's not too light. And uh, yeah, it's really, I recommend buying it for any Doctor Who fan or as a gift. This would be an amazing thing to give to somebody. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like it. I'm going to be using it for a long time, and I'll update any time something changes with it. Um, for the price, it's amazing. Um, 110 most places. I got it for 99 on ThinkGeek. Uh, with shipping, it's usually going to be around 100, obviously. Um, for the price, it's amazing. You should get it if you can. Uh, yeah. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. You brought me out too, too, too bad